ladies, gentlemen, waifus, and everything in between, welcome to an another amazing, immaculate, surprise episode, episode 13 of the 2D Research Podcast, baby. We have a very special guest here with us today. Let's get a round of applause all around. Woo! If you're in your cars, you're at home, you're not trying to wake up your parents, who gives a fuck? Let's just, we need some claps up in here, so... Ryan, would you like to introduce our much beloved guest here? This is uh, Bryce, also known as Snowy on uh, Twitch. It's Snowy with a zero at yeah. uh, Twitch TV. I don't know the links, but he's our uh, resident streamer boy and Rocket League aficionado. Also, a uh, occasional cowboy. But yeah, that's him. Do you want to give a little more intro? Tell the people who you are. <laughs> Shucks, I do appreciate <laughs> that introduction there, uh, Ryan. Um, yeah, I I'm Snowy. I'm a streamer. I right now I'm playing a lot of Rocket League, but I'm mainly a variety streamer. So, uh, yeah, I just have fun, play some games and shit like that. And the real kicker here is he is not interested in anime. Well, I mean, kinda. A little bit, you know, to, yeah. to better preface, like oh, maybe a little interested, but not not super well versed. You know, he's dipping his toes a little bit, getting them in there, getting a little warm. You know, it's checking if the water's cold, but, warming him up a little bit. You know, he you doesn't know? know how he feels about all of it. So we're gonna be running some bits through, see uh, see what he has to think about some waifus, some yeah. anime action, and well, you guys could be the judge. We got a fun game to play with that later, but we did sit him down and we made him watch Bubble, which. Apparently is a new anime movie that came out. I feel like I heard about it. Didn't I think we may have seen a trailer for I th it? I think I may have seen a trailer. I I forget at this point. Yeah, it, they all start to kind of run together, but yeah, especially it's within that style of like what, what would you say like your name and kind of those. Yeah, I thought I thought that was the one that I saw that I saw like a tweet about it or something that said, "Man, this guy's really just making the same movie." I was like, "Well, they're kind of different." You know, it's it's so cool though because, um, to my knowledge, it was Wit Studio, yeah, right, that put the movie together. Which I, uh, Ryan had mentioned earlier is the early animator, the original animator for the Attack on Titan series, first three seasons. Yeah, um, the mo or the uh, the movie soundtrack is made by the same guys who did Premiere. Which, uh, if you guys haven't checked out, I definitely recommend it. Really cool visual, but the, the music's incredible too. And then, uh, producer or director from Death Note. Uh, character design was character the character design. designer from Death Note, and the, the director is the director from Attack on Titan. Right, right, yeah. So you definitely see some of that Death Note flavor in some of the characters. Yeah, you can for I, sure. Once I started, like it halfway through the movie, I thought about it that like, oh, it's the Death Note character design. I definitely could notice it. I mean, you've seen Death Note, right? Yeah, I like Death Note. Did you think the character... No, I mean, the whole movie is completely different, but just the design of the characters, like the way the face the is... The antagonist, worked. especially. I, yeah. I, I gotta say, the... What was it? They were called the Morticians? Reminded yeah. Me. I think their name was something else. It, well, they were like the Morticians and the... Um, under the Undertakers. Undertakers, yeah. Like, yeah, oh. So basically the same thing. The Undertaker. Morticians. So their character are reminded me similar to like the shinigami and death note yeah like ryuk and yeah. stuff yeah i saw that the dark circles on on that uh and you get those person. lengthy the joints now you know, you know yeah. having known these guys for a long you know a like good 13 14 years now um I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question uh regarding one of our mutual friends but do you think that andre kind of looks like ryuk sometimes <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> like, yeah, like just some similarities. And I, I, I just. <laughs> so... <laughs> Andre, if you're watching this, we love you, buddy. And I know <laughs> you're a fan you. of Death Note. I think he might actually have a Death Note tattoo, if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't doubt it. I think yeah. he has Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> it's always weird when people get a self portrait tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> anyways so bubble you know i, I gotta say it's probably it's like a, it's a masterpiece yeah it's a masterpiece you know even before we get into it just like prefacing that i didn't know what to expect but like the music the art just the the animation the the story it was just 
so wonderfully done. You like, can definitely yeah. see a lot of like the uh, Attack on Titan director and just how they bring the music into scenes and stuff. Like it's that you know it, it has a swell and then it kind of drops and then the big up upwind of music like the the orchestra comes in all at once just for even some of the most simple scenes like it'll it'll give you that crescendo and then oh, it's just yeah. them riding a boat now, it's beautiful <laughs> now bryce what is the last anime you've seen before we watched like bubble today holy cow um oh um i guess oh so i i watched about four or five episodes of arcane arcane that's the one with the league of legend characters right yeah you can consider yeah. that an anime right it, it's animation yeah. it's animation but let's yeah. talk like japanese anime. like the last like there was a few anime. there was a few that i was into i was into i loved hunter hunter watched all of that hunter hunter slaps i didn't know you were into that i've yeah, watched all i've watched yeah. all of it and then because i'm a Oh God! I'm a dub boy. You know what I mean. I'm a dub boy. Hey, no, ain't nothing wrong with the dub boys. You know. I think there's something wrong. With I'm it. saying there's inclusivity. We've talked about this on a, a previous episode. We don't have to go into it, but some dubs just work. Samurai Champloo is yeah. one of them. Where I like I Hunter stand Hunter behind that. dub, but then it goes to sub uh, at a certain season. Uh, at least I was watching on Hulu. Yeah. You know, thanks Hulu for the sponsor today. <laughs> I'm We've had no sponsors. Cut that. Cut yeah. that. P Hub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that in if, place of it. If you know, you know. If you've seen our previous episodes, catch up. Yeah. Anyways, mustard. It was good in both. IMO. Uh, you get to like the last season in Hunter Hunter on Hulu, which we're not sponsored by, or they're not sponsored by, but. Then it changed. It changed to uh, you know Japanese for me, right? Japanese. Yeah. yeah, and it's still really. It's still, in my opinion, it's the same. How did you feel about like the ant arc? You know, when they like, there's all the ant people. You know I'm talking about it. It's like the bugs. Memory. The bug. Are you talking about the spiders on the island? Yeah, well, yeah. I think there's spiders as well, but there's also like ant people. Ant people. It's not surprising that you don't remember it because it sucked. Are you talking about when they're on the island trying to become the uh, the the? Not the video game, but like I think after they get out of the video game, like they go into that book and it's that video game world. After that, they go oh. through like the insect people. God, yeah, um, I don't remember this part, but I know you're, what you're talking about. It's when they're like running through those. It's almost like they're going through dungeons. Right? Yeah, they're like cave systems. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not a memorable part of Hunter Hunter. <laughs> you know, so I'm not super well versed in Hunter Hunter, but just kind of this this bridges into what we're talking about here is like sometimes, you know, someone who might not watch a ton of anime, but like their perception of anime, just some of the goofy abstinence with that. Like I, I, I was cutting hair at, at the barber shop and I was I don't know the name of this character. He's one of the villains. He kind of he looks like a fusion between like Cell and Frieza. I forgot his name. In Hunter Hunter? Yeah. I think that might be that, the the ant people, like that, the insect one island of the people. insect people. Yeah. I, I don't know his name, but like, so I made that comment to, to one of my boys. He was talking about Hunter Hunter, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like he kind of like that. Do you know that character that looks like a cross between Frieza and Cell? And some guy across from the shop, he's like, yo, you talking about Vegeta? <laughs> and, and he started laughing so hard and he looked so confused i'm like no no dude i'm saying he looks like a cross between freeze and so he's like yo yeah i mean like uh you're talking about dragon ball like, like vegeta i'm like no bro hunter hunter he's like oh never mind <laughs> <laughs> that's what? a little that's a little bit he, I, I would say I'm more experienced than that guy. No, yeah, I'm yeah. not comparing yeah. you to that, but I'm yeah. just saying there's spectrums, right? Like yeah. you definitely you know about anime. You're fam mm. you know you're familiar with it. You don't watch it as much as Ryan and I do, but you can enjoy it. You know, also, sit down. yeah. I have to say, Hunter Hunter wasn't the last anime that I watched. I started Demon Slayer, watched the first season of Demon Slayer. Oh, that's not really bad. yeah. You watched it the first season. What do you think? Demon Slayer was sick. I was really drunk when I was watching it, though, so. <laughs> you're like, damn, Demon Slayer is sick. I you honestly, have, like, okay. you have, you I honestly think that's on, the... you're like, Demon Slayer is sick, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best way to watch Demon Slayer, though, because it's like, it's another, 
uh, visually captivating anime. It yeah. Really you know, I've talked about it before that I don't think the story of Demon Slayer is anything crazy. It's sick as fuck. I love Demon Slayer, but I yeah. just... It is it is a marvel of animation, you know. Yeah. That is really what is sick uh, is really cool about it. The fight scenes, the music is really cool. This, I, this, I don't think the story is bad, but you know, it, yeah. I don't think it's a bad idea to just get drunk and watch the pretty colors go oh, on yeah. the screen. And, you know, speaking of getting drunk and speaking of getting drunk, I'm going to start this off a little early because your boy is thirsty, but I just want to say this is very special to us. So we did, we're going to have a little pairing. We'll kind of tell you at the end, but we're, we're not going to touch on that too much. But this is also, this is quite sentimental to us. So this is the Alley Cat Old Fashioned. I can kind of show you guys uh, watching the visuals right here. If you're listening, it has a cat on it, kind of with like a hat with some like cards, playing cards in it. It's pretty sick looking, but it came from Raised by Wolves. So that's a speakeasy in La Jolla, California. And the cool thing about this, the act, the owner is the one that actually like concocted this, put this together. So you're going to get a little bit of straight rye whiskey and apple brandy balanced with cherry bark vanilla bitters. So we we haven't tried any of this, but what's is, so special to us, I think Ryan could actually tell you that better than I could. Uh, I'll try to explain it a little bit, but is that, it's from Raised by Wolves, is that like one of their drinks just bottled? You know, so I didn't get to go in this last time. I don't know if they, I, I imagine they serve it. They yeah, must serve it there, but you probably. can take this home with you too. So Chris Patino, I believe, is the owner and the, the creator of this particular cocktail. Nice. So I'm excited to try it. But as far as Alley Cat goes, is it all goes back to like right as I got out of high school, I had a bowling team named the Alley Cat Mob Squad. <laughs> and it turned into a pool team and eventually just turned into the name that I uh, distributed to my group of friends. It's like we were the Alley Cat Mob Squad, all of us. And it, it stuck around a lot longer than I thought it would, well, you know? The acronym was sick. AKMS. AKMS. Yeah. 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 I wrote that shit everywhere when I was like 19. So when I was, I was in San Diego, I saw this. I'm like, yo, I got to get this for Ryan. Like, this just, this shit slaps. But, you know, Bryce being a part of this too, you know, it's just very sentimental to all of us. So. Yeah. He's new to the podcast, but he's he's a he's a friend of the of the boys. Would you, would yeah, you, of course. Would you uh, do us the honors? Hands. We're holding hands. Uh, I will do the honors. You guys, are you, you guys are kissing? They're kissing right now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so pop and, her open, dude. And honestly, too, like most recently, um, we, this was our Discord group name. Right? Yeah. This was our Discord group yeah, name. Yeah, for years. And that Discord grew quite a bit of popularity over the last two, three years since we started playing PUBG and shit like that. But let's open this shit up. And let's get it flowing. Yeah. AKMS is near and dear to our heart. So anything Alley Cat is basically just, you know, it's our it's it's our old branding. It looks like a cork. I, I'm scared, you know, like from champagne bottles that it's just going to fucking, you know, the fucking way out of there. <laughs> it's going to poo. It's going to bubble right on out of the window right there. Hey, hey. bubble. Hey. Let me get you here. Glass. Let me. Uh, no, you're the guest here. I'm. I'm gonna pour you up first. All right. So, then I can pour you guys. You know, I like that. You know, a little, little bit of a uh, little bit of scratching each other's backs here. You know, yeah. you scratch my back. I suck your dick. Well, I mean, at this point, it's either I don't pour anybody's or I pour my own. I feel <laughs> left out. <laughs> you hear what I said? You know what? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, we're just we're, we're, uh, we're, we're P hub. It, it but make, sorry, sorry. it's this isn't a surprise. I'll to me. hold the glass and Bryce will pour. So it's kind of like we collaborated. No, Bryce, you can't hold the glass. Oh, yeah. This has bad. to be a collaborative effort here. I can't. Oh, oh, what you are that? dripping on your drip right now, my guy. You're dripping you, on my drip. You been had polo. Maybe you should have just poured this. Maybe I should have. I, no, I like. I didn't want to say it until you were done, but, this is going. I, but I still didn't do anything. <laughs> well, but now my pants are just soaking wet. Ryan didn't say anything. I think hey, your listen, pants were I don't, soaking bro, wet the hey, second you uh, sat down here. <laughs> cut. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't be saying that on the podcast, dude. Come on. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Joey, uh, well, I'll talk to you later about if you Ooh. scratch my back, I'll suck your, you know, 
No, we'll I'll, talk about I'll it. suck your back. Hey, enough of these. You know, anything could happen. Cheers, boys. Cheers. I go on top. So I got <laughs> Holy shit, I can't stop, dude. It smells. <laughs> I can't stop with these fucking dumbass jokes. Okay. Woohoo. Man. That is some tasty shit, though. Sting that like is. a scorpion. So what do you guys get out Covered of it? Covered like a bumble. What's the, what's the first thing that hits you when you're drinking this right now? Just our first Apple. impression. Vanilla. I think, I, yeah, I was going to say like a caramel apple. You know, it's kind of yeah. the first thing that hits. This is, this is a treat. I I mean, the first thing I get is the warmth of the whiskey, but then it kind of settles into the, the vanilla. But I can't really taste the apple. I get it from no, the brandy. I do. Yeah. I do. It tastes like, um. have you ever had like an apple chicken salad? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, like that kind of chicken. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like that kind of apple the creamy flavor. Creamy ap- tart apple. It's yeah. almost like that green crisp apple. Yeah, I notice. You know, this is definitely it could hold on its own. The rye whiskey has that bite, so that's where it's a little fiery and spicy. But I feel like you could almost add more whiskey to this and just have a super drink. Um, you know, yeah. it could go both ways because it is a little bit on the sweeter side. So. It's like, um, you know, the margarita mix that has no alcohol. Yeah. It's like a whiskey mix for this, but you just add more whiskey. Yeah. But the mix also has whiskey. It's like getting a like red it. eye at like a coffee shop where you just add a shot of espresso to your existing black coffee. Yeah. You know, I got to tell you something, guys. I am not the hugest whiskey boy. No. The hat no. would tell otherwise. Well, you would think. With the hat and all. The hat makes me feel like you, you, maybe we should have gotten you a little moonshine. It's not really a cowboy hat. It's like a farmer's yeah. hat. Yeah. But, um, yeah, moonshine actually is different than whiskey, right? Yeah. So I mean, it's distilled. So what, what's interesting about moonshine is it is, in all technicality, oftentimes like a, a whiskey, but you'll see that it's clear. Yeah. So it's not aged in a barrel. You know, they're in a rush. They're trying to move this stuff. Like, people are trying to catch a buzz. So they're not aging it. It doesn't take on that color. So it has a lot more of that syrupy corn kind of sweet. Oh. It's pretty pungent stuff, though. It's a high ABV. You know, often that's kind of what it's associated with. And you'll see, like, moonshine punch is, like, a popular drink. I mean, yeah, when, you know, like, when they were moon, when it was an illegal thing and moonshine was the alcohol people would get. I think the concept was if it's if you're risking breaking the law for it, you might as well get something that will get you the most fucked uh, up. Yeah, you know, you, you know, if you can move the least amount of volume that does the most amount of work, you're in business. Yeah. You know? So that's moonshine. I didn't know. Moonshine, mo- yeah. I didn't know moonshine was whiskey. It is. So it, it's often the same grain. You oh, know, wait, corn makes whiskey, and but, rain makes so, corn. But, <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're going yeah. there. I was gonna be like, oh yeah, wheat and rye as well, but I I was like, oh wait, you're doing you're doing a thing. It's a country song. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's... I know all about them country. I actually <laughs> don't know shit about country, and I'm just doing something. But I've never I've never thought about that. I didn't know moonshine was whiskey. I don't know what I yeah, thought it was. But... It's like just unaged whiskey, essentially, like hmm. a clear clear spirit. Buffalo Trace has some. I know. Um, Cutwater Spirits has the Devil Share moonshine. You could get some moonshine punches at Bevmo that are pre-mixed with, you know, peach and apricot and, you know, tar, tar Newton rhubarb and all that good stuff. So what in tarnation? This is a <laughs> this is a, <laughs> it's a really good old fashioned. Yeah, one. this is uh, the, yeah, it's the shit. You know, do we for have being, ice for being like a pre-mixed in a thing? Yeah, it's pretty good. Don't we have those uh, whiskey rocks? We do, but I feel like ice would be nice too to kind of water down into it. It should like, be ice. Yeah. Do you guys want some ice? I'll yeah, take I'd like some. some here, ice. yeah. Keep keep this. Uh, Just uh, fill the cup with ice and bring the cup over here. We can drip. It I in would there. not have thought of that. That's a brilliant idea. I'll be right back. I got you. So everyone's getting whiskey rocks, and you guys have you get, but you guys have whiskey glasses. Y- yeah, these aren't them, but I mean, like on your face. This is another terrible what? reference to <laughs> a shitty country song. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to need some whiskey glasses. I don't know this one. I'm going to need to make it through. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Okay. <laughs> the country I, is taking... You've been, you've been filming all day as a country boy. I've actually... As a ha- country lad. 
I was gonna should, should I say, I say this stuff. I've actually had to like listen to a lot of country music because, and I just mean should I talk? Because Joey's not here. I can wait on Joey. No, we're we're okay. Keep we can. Keep oh, okay, well, I've actually had like. I didn't need that much ice. Oh. Well, I didn't experience. <laughs> I was just gonna put like four in there. <laughs> Continue. You got a lot of ice. Holy I, shit! I did. That is a bunch. <laughs> but I've heard a lot of country songs because of. Well, I figured you'd be boring more. Okay, okay, so fair, fair, fair. Oh, yeah, thank we'll, you, sir. We'll keep the top off. <laughs> God damn. He's so just much ruining ice. the drinks now. It's going to be water whiskey. But the kind of water whiskey I like. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. He, he just threw that ice cube, and it, like, fucking flew everywhere. It, from bounced, that it bounced out. Oh, well. Yeah. What were you saying? Oh Con yeah, you I, have to listen to a lot of country songs. I I did at one yeah, point. That's the end of the story. I'm just gonna do a few cues here. I don't know what you're on, but you know, no. I'm, I'm, I'm joining. Okay. Uh, Does the ice make the whiskey more bearable? Once no, it once just, it melts, it just dilutes it. Yeah. Yeah, really for this. Not not for the bite, but just for the the sweetness of it. You know, I was to We're experimenting here. You know. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 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 he didn't want that cheers. I just made it happen. Well, so I kind of misunderstood because I don't think you and I have ever really talked about anime. Yeah. So I didn't know. Like, I mean, you... I might have a deeper understanding than what you think. I think. Well, now definitely because yeah. now knowing that you have watched some, I know you probably don't go to the certain levels, but well, I've watched two hundred episodes of Bleach. Oh, nice. Really? Yeah. 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 You know. How do you feel about Bleach? You like love it? Bleach? Yeah. Bleach is one of my favorite animes. You to like watch. Ichango? <laughs> Ichango? <laughs> is that canon? Yeah, has yeah. someone made an Ichango it's, like me? It's canon oh, in my fan God. art. Or yeah. I mean, my fan stories. I mean, my fan <laughs> pictures. <Yeah. laughs> oh, what is it? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's definitely. I feel like we kind of have this melting pot where it's like we'll all get our respective separate interest, but we start sharing it with one another, and you know, we'll get each other into certain games or anime or w whatever it may be that interests us. You know, so I think yeah. the biggest thing is that I've watched Jesus that fridge, but <laughs> I mainly watched the big time like rush. banger. <laughs> no, Sorry. not big time rush, but. <laughs> The big time banger animes, Bang I've Bros. Seen those. Yeah, like uh, um, Dragon Ball Z. Have no. you seen Full Metal? I've watched. I mean, I've watched Dragon <laughs> Ball Z on Cartoon Network. You know, is that Vegeta? But <laughs> honestly, I didn't care too much about Dragon Ball Z. I wasn't a huge fan. I mean, I was a huge fan of it when I was a kid, but yeah, it's um, it's different now. Yeah, I wasn't exactly a huge fan when I was a kid, but it was something to pass the time. Right, yeah, it was it was fun. If it happened to be on, you're like, oh, cool. I got you home know, from school and it was yeah. on, you know? Like, right. for, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got home from school and it was on? I, th I thought Dragon Ball Z was on later. I got a school really late. <laughs> I'm joking. I took extra classes because no, I was smart. I actually got to school really early, but I don't know. 10 p.m. <laughs> After all my extra credits, you know the kid's eleven. He's going to night school. You know, trying to knock out these extra credits. And then by the time I was like in eighth grade, I had my bachelor's. So, you know, my uh, my the question in my head that I wanted to ask because of this was, as somebody who's not really interested in anime, but you know, you're more versed, so just apply as necessary. But how did you feel? about bubble do you agree with us that it was you know on levels of masterpiece by the way careful with my mic shaking you'll get sounds yeah i know I'm just, okay I, I, I just stopped moving my leg it, it, yeah, yeah i'm just gonna have to keep my hands off the table because the leg's not gonna stop shaking um i'm gonna have to swing it so uh just repeat the question i guess how do, do you think it's on the level of masterpiece did you bubble? how did you feel about it yeah give me your thoughts break it um, down for me well, first off, I want to preface my answer by saying that, like, I think when I do watch a show, I prefer to watch it anime nowadays. I just don't watch much TV. Really? If the next show yeah, I throw I on either. would probably be an anime, because it's probably my most enjoyed show to watch, like, yeah. type of show. Um, but, bub, was it Bubble or Bubbles? What, what, I think just Bubble. 
I think just bubble, but I'm not it's sure. Bubble. I, I mean, see it's right here. Yet. Yeah, bubble. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought, I honestly, first take, you watch bubble, and I arguably, I arguably have to say that I think bubble is better than the first season on Attack on, of Attack on Titan. I mean, it's it draws you in. Whoa. <laughs> Well, the they reason let the I say man that, have his opinion. <laughs> well, I guess you get you get more from a movie because it tells more of the plot, right? Right. Yeah. So you get more of the plot quicker, but it's it really is a captivating show, pretty much the whole time through. I mean, movie, pretty much the whole time through. I mean, it's definitely uh, I prefer uh, things like that over Attack on Titan. Yeah. Like, I, I th- Attack on Titan holds a special place in my heart. You know, I've talked about it's it. It's drama. I, yeah, I Attack love on Titan Attack on Titan. It's pure oh, yeah. drama. It's so nice. But this, like, movies like this, there's no there's no beating it, you know? Yeah. I love the, the poppy, uh, you know, bright colors, yeah. a lot of really cool animation going on. It's some of my favorite stuff. I mean, like, Your Name, Five Centimeters Per Second, all of those movies that are just super... The lighting is just insane, and it's just, you know, animation. That's You watch it because it's so well done. Right. You know, and I, I feel like oftentimes people will, you know, religiously stick to series and kind of push the movies off to the side, and I, I would say they're missing out because really at the end of the day, all these studios, you know, they're, they're trying to make money, and they have a budget to work with. So when they're doing an entire season, let's say like 24 episodes, they have to work within that budget of having a team working at certain hours. But with a movie, the budgets are always much, much higher for yeah. the, the, the minute to minute. And you'll notice the quality, like especially ones that have a series that have a movie come out. You'll see the movie, and you're like, man, why doesn't the show look this good? Mm. They just they have the budget and the team necessary to really just put their all into it. It's like... They could do that with a season of anime, but it would be expensive. Yeah. So we kind of get a taste of that with movies where it's just the, like Ryan was saying, you know, the colors just pop. And we, like Bryce was saying, like the story captivates because it's condensed into, you know, an hour and 45 minutes where you feel like you're getting everything you want out of it. Yeah. So don't don't write off movies if you're like, ah, but this one's, you know, two hours. Like I've been loving them. I feel like it's just been kind of like an unspoken thing. Like we didn't necessarily plan it, but I've watched so many anime movies yeah. in the past couple weeks. You know, A Whisker Away, Bubble Today. We watched The Girl Who Left Through Time last week. It's they're nice, you know, they're bite sized. You can sit down for an anime movie night. Guys, do you feel I don't know? See, that's, this is my inexperience in anime, so I need help, right? I saw that movie, and I thought this was probably the best visually appealing movie that I've seen in an anime. And, like, I don't, I can't compare good. it to anything. I can't compare the quality of that. That was my favorite Just animation. on the note of the animation, did you guys also notice that there was, like, an obvious... Uh, they saved the best animation for when Shin showed up at the end. Mm, when he oh. did that tricking that the, was over so the buildings yeah. to get to the first fragment. He that animation was but, tight. You know, you know, Bryce, like it's not so far fetched because I have to say, like, even with the discography of, you know, anime I've watched after watching it, I put it up there. Mm. Before and it was kind of holding the title for a while was actually Pro Mare, which part of that team, you know, worked on the music in this film as far as like a visual where I was just blown away by the animation but this like think of you know like the 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 ghibli ghibli g- g- giblet you know Studio think of the ghibli yeah think of the giblets the is ghibli i think it's i ghibli, i will ghibli, it's yeah. it, apparently I it say, is ghibli but i say I, ghibli i say ghibli i say ghibli but you know think of when the ghibli films were made but they were artistic and beautiful but with the animation currently it's just they pushed they it just so have the quality far. Yeah, right. Like, but it was still like you're like, whoa, this is beautiful. But now having something like Bubble, you're just blown away by yeah. what they can do. I mean, I've I feel like it kind of depends because it is a stylistic thing, you know. Like, no, that's true. You know, yeah. we were talking the girl leapt through t- who leapt through time. It's very old, but like I think it holds up. The animation is done really well. A Whisker Away looks very close to like how a Studio Ghibli movie is yeah. animated. This was more in like the your name, you know. Yeah, it's that, a different aestheticism, but yeah, it, weathering yeah. with you, those kind of movies. That was like this, but I think it's just stylistic. But this was definitely, I mean, Wit Studio, 
really just it went ham. They really, they question. really put it all out there. Hit us. Do you guys think that like so I I personally think that if I were listening to this right now, uh, he, let's give some description on the the type of art style that's in this movie. Is it's very trippy, right? Like kind, it's kind super of yeah. trippy. And I am got it's got certain elements of it, like the scenes with the sister bubble. You know, yeah, you, Uta's sister, the the red bubbles when it's doing that weird little like butthole that it makes well, it's vibrant though right like yeah. it's vibrant and like it is it's really kind of colorful it's, it's that it's like it's the poppy surrealism yeah. it's kind of like yeah. neon but it's got those dark darks inside of it and it kind of looks like um it, you know the animation styles when people it's like it looks like a bunch of pencil scribbles but yeah over multiple pages yeah. that kind of look like a fluid motion it kind of yeah, gives you that stress around. It's kind of yeah. like that, but with bubbles, and they're very shiny bubbles. It's not like a pencil sketch. It's like it's not a circle that's you know just quick fill blue. Yeah, you know it's definitely there's a lot of textures and you no know, yeah Bryce you hit it on the nail because like even one of the first comments I made yeah. when we were watching it was I was like man imagine like you take one hit of something and then you start seeing because it's showing like the universe the nebulas and flowers and everything and I'm like man I don't think this is weed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know like like you feel like you're you're like, am I hallucinating these visuals? But right. no, they're just there. Yeah, so it, it really was a trip. and mm, But it was so damn. just, it's like, I didn't feel uncomfortable watching yeah. any of it, though. It was just like, ah, like, whoa. That's one of the things yeah. I like about movies like this, like this, you know, the, I don't know how to classify it, you know, the Your Name Weathering with You. Yeah, but that, that really is kind of its own subsect. Yeah. Yeah. But the, that's what I like about them is like you get a lot of these very surreal animations, but it's um, it's not like anxiety inducing. It's it's comfortable, you know. Right. Like it's a very visually appealing thing that even in the, these stressful moments where you're like, yeah, maybe it was like, oh, I don't think this was weed. You're still comfortable in it, you know. Yeah. It's like one of those things you take a hit of the joint and you're like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with a little trip right now, you know. Yeah. Take me through the bubble world, please. Should but, we? Should we um Also it's I mean, you know, bubble it, a movie an anime movie about parkour. Oh god. Come yeah. on. Yeah, we didn't even yeah. yeah, yeah we, we didn't even get, honestly, we didn't even mention we need more background on what bubble is for people who don't know yet, right? It's right, a, yeah. basically the 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 bare minimum is that it is an anime about parkour because you know, sick. you said early on you were like, "Oh, so this is more of an experience." Yeah. You know, you don't yeah. really have to like pay attention the whole time because a lot of it is just that like parkour experience but the concept is there's this whole thing called the bubble fall that created some explosion in tokyo and now a bubble is covering tokyo that uh, uh, changes the gravity in there so these kids whose parents died in the explosion in the bubble fall uh compete in these parkour tournaments for like uh, rations of like you know rice and gasoline they didn't really touch on it too much but you kind of got it in the yeah, dialogue like, you could tell there there could have been a lot of world building like if it was a series but obviously within a movie they could only give you so much content I really yeah. like that kind of like you know it's not there was a lot of times where it was like okay here we're gonna give you some exposition but there was also a lot of dialogue that was just like left to you to pick up you know right and uh, they do these tournaments, and it's like capture the flag. You got to get to the flag, but it's all parkour, so it gives them a lot of animation. But uh, without giving too much away and going too much into detail, one of the bubbles basically turns into cute anime bubble girl, starts acting like a cat, gets attached to the main character who's hypersensitive to audio and can hear like the song of the tower where the explosion originated. And it's just about uh, their, you know, their story of. There's a lot to it. It it follows very closely and references repeatedly the Little Mermaid, but not the right. Little Mermaid we know from Disney. Some aspects, but it seemed like more of a like a dark well, story. The original story, I think, which Disney had adapted, but of course they made it more friendly. Yeah, you know, but the yeah, original it, like the um, uh, fable of you the know, Little Mermaid. Without giving too much away, it definitely sets a lot up. You know, which is obvious at parts, but, um, yeah, it's, I just wonder how much Adderall the animation team 
had to take to get through the deadlines. I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, animate this entire parkour race. Well, where I mean, they're doing flip tricks. You know, bubbles are floating around everywhere. You know, they um they passed along Attack on Titan season four like three years ago. So they've had they've was been it to working. make this. Well, I don't think it was specifically to make this, but I think Wit Studio just didn't want to work on Attack at the, on Titan anymore because yeah. you know it was taking too many resources. How new is this, guys? It, I think it just released. I think it's a hot drop. It's a twenty twenty. It's a good ass hot. It's a twenty twenty two. But let's. We might be hearing. We might be getting a first react here. This could be a pretty. This is a banger. Worldwide yeah, release on Netflix April twenty eighth. So just a couple days oh, ago. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. we're uh, we're we're fresh off the grill. I think right it came there, out. Yeah. Uh, Early screenings at Berlin International Film Festival on February 10th. So it's been um, like people have seen it. Like a very small group of people, you know. Yeah, I I, I had there was something I wanted to tell you guys after yeah. after we watched the movie. I had a theory about something that happened in the movie, and I'm and I want to share that without giving away spoilers as okay. much as I can. Do you guys have any? Are there any speculations you guys felt in the movie or anything like that? What do you mean? Like just because this, I just had felt like I had like there was a meaning behind because you know it's so the the movie's very deep, IMO. Yeah, it, it talks there's about the universe. There's, pro there's probably some layers in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, the biggest thing for me is that originally, okay, I gotta say this. Choose my words carefully here. Something happens. Something happens that creates this bubble that you talked about, right? Right. Yeah. And from this bubble comes that girl. Cute bubble girl. Right. And the auditory thing, right? Yeah. Which, um, let me say this. It gets remedied at some point. Yeah. Right. It's almost as if because it's like he found his purpose. It's like the thing that he had been hearing all along. Got ended there, right? You know, it's like he was there for a reason. Right. I'm trying to, so I'm trying to be as vague as, I'm not trying to give away, away spoilers, but maybe bring some interest to the movie, right? He, it's like from the moment that that thing happened when he was there, right? Yeah. It's like she already was searching. Yeah. And I, it was for him specifically. That was it's like she's calling to him like a siren. That yeah, like a mermaid. Yeah. 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 Forever I think that since was, the beginning. You know what I mean? And see, I think that was something that wasn't really touched on mm -hmm. because he he had the the hypersensitivity to audio before the bubble incident you know like that was a thing that had happened but, but when reason when he interacted with the bubble he said has it been you all along yeah and i'm thinking the discomfort in audio was this sister mermaid that you know the the red bubbles the oh, one making wow. making yeah. the noise and this was the one that is like, we've been hurting this kid this whole time. And she was like, finally, you know, she just wanted to be there to support him. It's really too hard to piece all this together. And like, I don't feel like these are spoilers because you'll have to piece it together when you watch because we're so yeah. vague right now. But really, it's like the problem with his hearing was because he needed to come to this. This this thing, this experience had to come to fruition. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it, it really, I mean, you look at this, and I wouldn't necessarily say it needs a sequel. Like, yeah. I feel like it was pretty conclusive, but, like, some, a little additional lore would be really cool. Yeah. You know, kind of well, just. Well, there's a, I don't know if it's much different, but there's a manga adaptation that. Really? Uh, yeah, debuted in Shonen Jump April 22nd. Okay. So there's a manga that might go into a little more details about, like, the bubble Oh, like this incident. April 22nd? Yeah, like yeah, so that means weeks. it could expand um, a bit. Yeah, six days before the movie came out. Yeah, so maybe it could kind of give you like the yeah, basics. You I'm know, looking for I'm I'm gonna check that out definitely because yeah. yeah, I'd love to have just a little more world building and context because I was like, man, like it was good as a movie, but like even as like a series, there's so much they could do with it. So much left unanswered. But it, it's almost like that's the beautiful. How, that's how I feel just, about a lot of them, though. Yeah. Did anybody else want to pour? 
Yes, please. Please. So what you what were you saying there, Joe Joe Meister? Oh, I was saying that yeah, I could like not necessarily because the thing is I'm happy with how everything was concluded, but it's just I don't know, man. This genre, this it kind of what we were trying to get on this like subsect earlier of like these styles of movies. I just can't get enough of them, man. Like, yeah, I wish like, I had another one to watch right after it. You know what I mean? Well, mm -hmm. have you, I don't know the name of one of them, but have you seen weathering with you or the one where every, like there's that girl who's her gravity is reversed for, uh, as opposed to everybody else. Like if she goes outside, she'll fly away into the sky. I don't think I've seen that one, but I've seen weathering with you. Um, you know, we throw around your name a lot. That's the first one that comes to mind, but the, the other one with like the, the girl that was deaf, a silent voice. A silent voice. Um, they're all kind of in that vein. Yeah. And there's just, but I understand. I could appreciate, like, yeah, I want more of them, but I know how much work goes into them, and they're just not going to be coming out like, yeah. you know, McDoubles. Well, like, there is definitely, time. you know, there is definitely a couple more for you to watch. There's the yeah. weird gravity one, A Whisker Away. I'm telling you, I know you'll love it. So just okay. whenever you watch it, I know you eventually will. But by the way, that. you've got A Whisker Away? I think so. Really? really? Yeah. The one where she turns into a cat? She's got the cat mask? No, what's the one with the walking house? The house moving castle. Yeah, that's a good one. The Studio <laughs> Ghibli one. It's blonde guy. English dub. Christian Bale does the voice for Howl. There was a while. Really? When yeah. I, when I watched a couple Studio Ghibli movies, and I was a little fucked up. You know what I mean? Probably. I don't know. Seems like a regular occurrence. Well, <laughs> let's just... Let's just <laughs> Let's just, you Listen, know. Listen, I only watch anime when I'm fucked up. It is a great time to watch anime. <laughs> I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. I'm it not going to disagree. It's no, a great time. Definitely. But, yeah, it's it's just, um, where was I going with that? I was going to say today's pairing. Oh. Pairing. Yeah. Is with a whisker away, and I haven't seen it. Pairing. Oh. With Alley Cat. And whisk her away. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Why are we pairing that? Cats. I mean, it's a cat. It's a cat. But also, I mean, like, you got to you gotta see the movie. There's a lot of, like, the, um, the cat that sells the masks to humans that makes them... We, I've told you, I'm pretty sure I talked about it on the podcast, the basic, like, synopsis of the movie. But the cat that sells that... There's like a whole tree village of cats and, you know, they there's kind of these alleyway bars for cats who ha who used to be humans. So they have a bar that they can go to where they kind of just Yo, are cats. I have seen that. Are you? I've seen it. God, how did I forget that? Once Liar. you mentioned that She turns part, into like, the white cat with <laughs> yes, Taro. Yes, yeah, I've seen that movie. That's a very small part of the movie. I'm surprised that that's what did it. <laughs> I, I I knew I had seen something like, yeah, Are you I sure that's not Aristocats? But there's a lot of there's a lot of shady <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> there's a lot of shady cats in that movie. You, I, without you know, a the, doubt, the, the alley cats. I, I definitely cat. seen it. Yeah, I remember this cat that. looks like that something. That is an excellent movie. That I can't believe I forgot that I easily seen that. fit into yeah. the into the scene of it. Well then, yeah. I mean, we've talked about it so much. <laughs> you know that how thing we we're talking about? It? How like um, you're drunk when you're watching anime? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was one of those. <laughs> you know, one of one of those times. You know. Yeah. Yeah. How old is a whisker away? I saw it when I was still living in San Diego for sure. I think like at least like two years ago, maybe longer. 2020. Oh, yeah, so 2 years ago. About yeah. 2 years ago. Oh, yeah. wait, I think I've seen this. Yeah, look at look at this motherfucker. This is like what makes me think of the alley cat. He's oh, okay. I'm pretty sure well, I've yeah, also they kind of have this. that village they can only get into when they're cats, right? Yeah, yeah. and he's look at look at he's just such a shady character. Yeah, he looks like a fucking scumbag. He looks like Jabba the Hutt. I love when his ties wrapped around. He's so fat. Look at this. Baby. But he wasn't that bad. Huh? I don't, he wasn't that bad, right? He literally... He, the reason why he sells cat masks to humans is to steal their lifespan. Oh, yeah. He's pretty terrible then. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He makes them turn into cats oh, permanently, no, and then he a... takes their human lifespan because the whole thing is like cats don't live as long as humans. Because th there was... What I recall 
was there was the what it was like the girl that turned to the cat right mm-hmm. and there was an actual cat trying to help her become a human again that kind of yeah originally that cat that helps her takes her human face and tries to become her yeah but then realizes that it's not the move yeah and then tries to help her get her human face back yep yeah it's a whole thing but yeah that one, that one, yeah yeah that was a cool movie it's it's really good man that's yeah. it's can't believe i forgot that i see i have to check i know it's on my anime list probably yeah. if i looked to be like oh yeah i did watch it when you watch so much man it's hard to it all hard blends to keep together track. yeah so did, did have you seen this one it's just things about it look familiar yeah but I, may have been it, fucked it, up i could have been just not may have been attention. house moving castle yeah, <laughs> really they're basically the same movie. <laughs> they really could have, man. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that art style. They're I've the, seen that shit. They're dude. the same movie if you think about it. Um, so what's what's uh? Did you want to the, the game? I was gonna say, did you want to move into the game? game time? Yeah, we're about forty, uh, fifty minutes in. So yeah, all nice. right. Cut. Do you want right. to take a break? Cut. Yeah. Okay. I was saying, can we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we're back. I'm sure you missed us within the split second that we went to take like a 30 minute smoke break. But here we are. We're going to run through some little games here. So um, before we get into it, I'm going to go over the rules here. So we're playing a point based game. Ryan and I have selected our respective top five favorite waifus. And Bryce is going to pick one of them. We're going to show him some small clips and he's going to decide which one is the greater waifu of the two out of that selection. So... That way, Ryan and I can earn a point if one of our waifus is selected. Now, Bryce, he's in the game too, baby. Don't think we left him out. So he could also earn points by guessing their name off of nothing. We have a four-point multiple choice where he can decide, that sounds like the right name. And if he gets it right, he earns a point. So we're playing against each other right now. It's it's a free-for-all, baby. We may have had a slight miscommunication in the rules of the game. So it's not going to be like our wife who's going up against each other and he chooses between them. Yeah. I thought it was he's guessing whose wife who it is. Oh, let's do that. So we're going to go into <laughs> That's it. That's how I set it up. I'm sorry. Forget everything I just said previously. It's... Thank you for wasting my time, Ryan. I'm moving out. You won't see me again. So what back to the, the game here. So Bryce here is actually going to determine which waifu goes to which husbando here. So forget everything I said. <laughs> Fuck Giuseppe. Is let's this run game? this, baby. Woo! <laughs> Well, I just think if he guesses it, uh, guesses that it is our waifu, we'll take the point. Way to salt the wound, Ryan. <laughs> what a great co-host. This is burning. <laughs> this is lemon, Jesus. lemon to a six-inch cut right here. Right. Now, I'm totally fucking with you we're guys. Going, so we're going. We're with running it. it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not like the- Bryce. If you make one more quip like that, we're gonna kick you off the fucking podcast. We don't need you here. We're doing you a favor. So let's get back to the. <laughs> oh my god! The- I'm kidding. I'm for everyone listening. I'm totally kidding. He's not kidding. Uh, <laughs> please send help. The, the points don't really matter. <laughs> Someone. The points don't really matter, but uh, God, my none of this fucking matters. Nihilism, baby. Are we even here right now? <laughs> I'll keep track of it you as best have I can. Me dying right now, Joey. This is the goofiest shit. We also man. don't have speakers, so you're just gonna have to try and hear the audio through the headset. But oh, do I? Oh it, no, I, I turned it all the way up. We should be able to hear it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Little little jank, but it's gonna work. So. That the, the the concept is it's pretty much the same. It's just instead of the two waifus going up against each other, you're just gonna guess is this one mine or his? All right, all right. They should be pretty easy to determine. How well do you know us? Yeah, okay. because I, going through them, it is very clear who's who chose yeah. who. Yeah, I think I can get this. I think I I don't I don't feel too nervous. I think I can guess whose waifu is who's. Okay. So um, um, everyone you get wrong, by the way, you lose a finger. So just carefully select. If I get it wrong, I'll take a drink. And you have to, uh, I was going to say, you have to take a shot. (laughs) 
Oh my god. New no, rule. Like a drink. New rule. <laughs> I got a uh, I got all the that would make it the spicy, alternative though. names and stuff as well on my phone, so I'll I'll all read right. I'll read them out when we yeah. get to that point. But this is the first clip. Okay. Um uh yeah, enjoy. Guess this waifu. Guess the waifu. I'm so ready. Okay, I know who it is. All right, who do you think that uh, was? That's is? yours, Ryan's? That's mine. You're right. Point, Ryan. <laughs> and it was easy to tell because she's self-loathing. <laughs> we, we're going to tally this, right? <laughs> she what? She's self-loathing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, ex that's, that's what gave it away? Yeah. No, that's 100%. That is what will get him the wins on mine. <laughs> yeah. She's self-loathing there. Oh my god. Do you think that's not so, the case? So, like Ryan, are you telling the points right now? Yeah. Okay, so we're keeping track of this, people, so Ryan has there's a point. gonna be a clear winner here. Wait, does Ryan get a point? Because I guessed it right. So yeah. Ryan gets the point. Yeah. Because he has the waifu that aligns with him. Yeah. Yes. Right. That's so, that's what we're going with. You guys yes. are fighting for your true nature. Exactly. The how I know you the best yeah. will be how well I rate you. Technically, I have the power yeah. here. The points we get are how much he likes us. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Essentially. So, so, is this a back and forth? How'd you put the clips in here? I it put them be... at random. Okay. So, it's sometimes it's going to be like multiples of his in a row. Yeah. Sometimes it's I put them in at random. So, to they're leave not you back guessing. Yeah. yeah. So, it's not obvious. But, okay. um, pro probably second one. So, Brian too, Bryce, we're going to have you guess rules. the name of this waifu. And I have some options for you. How many? You said out of four, I only did three names. I did. You did four? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave one of yours off, okay, but I'll so try to pick the best ones. I'll yeah. try to pick the important ones. Okay, yeah. So this one you have, um, you have to guess the name of this girl. Yeah, and this is yours. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is a point for me. Yeah, this okay. is how you're gonna get the point. You have All to right. guess her name. Yeah. So is it Rika Furude, Ryan Sheckler, or Rio Futaba? <laughs> Rio Futuba. Yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cause he, Damn. He, that was, he put Ryan Sheckler for one of them. <laughs> it wasn't that one. I saw Ryan Sheckler at Street Week, and he was definitely not this waifu. You know, waifu. Uh, fun fact, uh, Rika Furude is one of the main characters of Higurashi When They Cry. Really? Mm -hmm. I looked up. Name? I looked up other characters from anime, and yeah. that was one of them because I just thought of Rika. But I just wanted to tell you that because yeah. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, but I okay. get a point. So yeah, the only way for me to win is for me to technically guess one of your guys' things. Well, I mean, there's you know we're all winners well, here. That's no, the thing. I want to so, be the winner. <laughs> no, Bryce, you have the advantage here. Yeah, because I could throw I could throw one of the because wipers. we only have. Yeah. So many each, but you have the opportunity to guess the name on all of them. So technically, you could earn I'm doing more points you guys yeah. than we can. We can yeah. only get a total of five. You can get a total of ten. So it, exactly, if I guessed all of them opposite, right? Just so I, I starved you guys of points, I would win then. Yes. But don't, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, don't. All right. Please. Please we'll, spare us. We'll move on to the next clip now. You know, all I right, play Rocket all right. League competitively, so, you know. <laughs> kind of, I'm a little oh. competitive. <laughs> That's Shall pretty... we gamble? <laughs> Come on, guys. That's a tough one. It's not that hard. Okay. It's Ryan's. Ooh. Is it yours? That was mine. It's just really? Yeah. yeah. She just seems so evil. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm flattered that you didn't associate that with me. Well, so yeah, that was mine. Evil. <laughs> this guy. What's up? <laughs> Not him, but. <laughs> <laughs> you said this guy after so evil. His, like, interests and stuff. I thought maybe you'd be interested in that. All okay. right, so you're gonna be <laughs> guessing the name. Yep. I guess to an extent, like I should have, I should have thought it was maybe you, Joey, because she's bolder than the other chick, right? She's a little bit bolder. Mm -hmm. And Ryan she's probably likes the less spicy, self-loathing ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are your name options. Are you ready? And I'll 
Hold on, let me rewind it back yeah. just so you can see her. So we've got... I kind of like her. I kind of like her. Mm. These are your options. They are Gothica Vampiria, Yumeko, or Kuro Nekopara. Can I get them one more time? We've got Gothica Vampiria, Yumeko, or Kuro Nekopara. The first one makes sense, but I feel like that's just a... That's just like... It doesn't make enough sense. Okay. Okay. The second one, there's no last name. Mm-hmm. But you'll you'll see that. We threw some of that in just to throw it off a bit. So I think I think it's the third name. And what was the third name? Kuro Nekopara. Yeah, I think that's it. That one? Yeah. That's wrong. It was Yumiko. It was the second one. So it was the single name. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that made it hard for Because mm-hmm. I thought maybe, but mm, you know. Yeah, it was a good guess. It was, yeah, it was a good, it was guess. A good guess. Yeah, I think Neko Paro Those to me though, names. like Neko just being cat. Yeah, you know, like it makes me think. But that's... I, tr- I tried to throw some funny ones in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, me too. Yeah. <laughs> What's the last last one again? What's the name? Uh, Kuro Neko Paro. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah maybe but I her name is that. Yumeko. Yeah. All right, next clip. She's gonna be my waifu. So we have a zero gambling one, waifu <laughs> and one. Yep. All right. All right, ready? Next clip I really here. Thought that was Ryan's. おやすみ。<笑><笑> Yeah, actually, that's tough. I'm gonna say very pretty. Mm-hmm. 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 Very pretty. Very. I'm. Should see her cosplays. I'm gonna say Joey on this. You got it right. You got it. Let's fucking yep. go. Yay! I got a point on the board. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Good job. Hell Good yeah. job. Hell All yeah. right. Now for the guessing of the name. Okay. I can get her name. I can right, get her let me name. go back over here. All right, so our options are going to be <laughs> All right, the options for names are uh-huh. Marine Kitagawa, uh you. Yamate Daisuke. Okay, not it. Yamate. And uh Nico Nico Ni. The first name. Um it's Marine. Marine. Marine Kitagawa? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Bryce gets a point. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hand hug it. Hand hug that it. That one dude. was tough because he, he says Kitagawa. I yeah, blacked it out because yeah. I figured he wouldn't be able to entirely hear it. But R- Right. Yeah, it's it's tough. But you got two those, points. Nice. You're in the lead now. What do you think of the name? Yamate. Yeah. <laughs> D- Yama- Yamate. That means like no stop. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> those were uh those <laughs> names felt a little obvious yeah, especially nico nico ni <laughs> that is a name though that is a name I of know. a character in yeah. Kaon, yeah. Well, right. not her literal name but yeah, yeah but she's such a marine yeah <laughs> <laughs> you ready for the next clip yeah. all right let's she run it's out there front lines of war marine can you <laughs> can you okay. Can you see okay? Do I? Do we need to move? No, I'm good. The, I'm good. Do we need to move the mixer. I think Marine has some stolen valor here. <laughs> Guppy. Oh, Guppy. All right, I'm sorry. Next clip. Yeah. Next clip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan. 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 It's gotta be Ryan now. By the artist, artist statistics, it has to be Ryan. It's Ryan. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, <laughs> you just said it right away. Like, no, it's I just Ryan. love that. Like, will you hurt me? Yeah, Tatsumi, to think you had such a fetish. <laughs> we truly are meant for each other. <laughs> so I get a point there. Now you get to guess the name, and this one was real fun. All right, so your options are Ein, S Death. Or edamame. 
Wait, I thought you said Tatsumi. Like, you called her Tatsumi. Tatsumi is the guy. Oh, okay. Uh, give me the names again. Ein, S. Death, or Edamame. And Ein. she is an Edamame. Ein. Ein? Ein. Yeah, the first one. Ein? Yeah. Wrong. It's S. Death. Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How am I supposed to win if all I'm doing is helping you guys? Well, I mean, you're technically still, like, you're doing pretty good. I have yeah. two points, you have one point, and you have two. Yeah. So okay. You're doing pretty good. And we've only gone through There's only three. been two yeah. Joey characters, right? Yeah. So start keeping that in mind, too. You could you could count cards here. And two. You could channel Yumiko and really gamble two, your two way through yours. this. Oh yeah, it's pretty even. I actually, I've actually two, gotten all of yours it's right. It's been two of mine and two of yeah. Seppi's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah,それ <laughs> She's not happy. Fire! Joey? Yeah. 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 Two's across the board, baby. Two's yeah. across the board. We're all tied up. Now you get to now you get to get See, I'm on one now because statistically I know what's happening. And I'll call it out every, the first five seconds. Easy. <laughs> Oh, we'll see now you know that. how we'll it's going. Yeah, I know. I I counted the cards. So here. your options here are <laughs> Lucy Hartfilia, mm -hmm. Violet Myers, mm -hmm. and Asuna Yuki. Asuna Yuki. Yeah, he got right. it. Yeah. That's three points. See, if I don't think about it and I just and you just you know, run it, run it, baby. We had some hands hanging out here, you know. <laughs> oh wow, that's, good. <laughs> that, that's her. Wow, that's crazy. All right. Violet Myers is a resident on P Hub. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, see, I was testing. I'm like, if Bryce gets a reaction out of this one, he's just like, whoop. Yeah. Oh, Excuse me while I Google. Yeah. You ready for your next I'll clip? That one out. <laughs> 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 Whose waifu is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next clip. Yes. Subaru, is his name. <laughs> the manding. This is a rhyme. Are you a sub? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is a sub. This isn't my waifu. Liar. I am sticking to it. This one's Ryan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs>。Okay. Oh, this is actually fairer than I thought because even if I'm trying in all accounts, it's pretty equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next. Next clip? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even showed her yet. <laughs> I know. This is that's her. Oh, hmm. You know he got those polos. I've been had polo. I've been had polo. <laughs> been had polo, bro. Um, that's actually um tough. Yeah, that's a tough one. This is not easy. Throwing I, you a little curveball. It's kind of. I feel like it's kind of like it's not that it's 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 not obvious enough. Right, there's no distinguishing personality thing or attractiveness thing. In my opinion, no waifu. She's not my waifu. No? No, I don't. Hmm. You don't claim? No I claim. Don't, no no maidens. claims. No maiden. No maidens. Now, whose waifu is it, though, then? It may not be yours, but it's one of ours. I think it's you, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> In incorrect. Fuck! Have you noticed the like seven foot wall scroll in my room of that character? I guess not. I guess not. 
All right. Well, I mean, all that means is that he, you know, Giuseppe doesn't get a point. Okay. So now you get to guess the name. Okay. I. It is actually harder for me to guess. Well, if I. She keep... was a kind of curver, right? Because she, she's a, a little ball. rowdy, but you yeah, know. she's a curveball. Ready? I keep seeing Ryan over and over. Right. I, I'm not gonna tell you. Right. <laughs> How many have we gotten for you? We've gone three. I, I, I three. don't even know what I'm at right now. I don't know, but you're you at two. I'm at book. two, yeah. I think we're both at two, and he's got three. I think you're one ahead of me, no? You're my waifu. Yeah, I am. Yeah. We we both have three points. You have two points. Yeah. But, I mean, the, <laughs> the points don't matter on our end, really. Yeah. It's the, if we have points, it means he guessed them right. So, yeah. realistically, it's just a representation of how well he did. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys know. But these are your names that you I have to guess from. about it. So, we've got Bunny Uzumi. Nana Osaki. Not that one. And Light Yagami. Bunny. It's Bunny. It's not Bunny. It's Her not, name's Nana. It's Nana it's Osaki. Nana. It's Nana, dude. I'm pretty sure the name of the anime is Nana. <laughs> yeah, it is. She's yeah. just yeah. not attractive at all. You know, all. actually, funny little factoid. Her and the other girl you thought was like the waifu originally, you're like, oh, yeah, she's my waifu. Yeah. Her name is also Nana. They both named Nana. They have different last names. Which Nana, being seven, or, you know, seven, seven, and they live in the apartment, seven, seven. Which so. Nana, being grandma in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys. <laughs> Let's run it. I want to see more. Next one. Show yeah. me Spider Man, damn it. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Ready? Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's Next. my waifu. <laughs> <laughs> Next clip. All right. Ryan. <laughs> what? You didn't even see her yet. <laughs> Wait, actually, I've said. If I, I'm actually proven to win at least half of these if I only say Ryan. It's Joey. It's not, though. It's not Joey. That was Ryan. Yeah, it was me. Yeah. But I said Joey. So that just means I didn't get a point. I no. can't I can't say I knew it was Ryan because I've been saying Ryan <laughs> for all See, of Joey. That's the thing. You can't count the cards on this one, Bryce. I'm trying We made this very difficult. To do that. I wasn't even trying to do that. It's just I honestly thought that one was fucking Ryan, the punk one. Yeah, no, that wasn't me. And then what am I supposed to do after I fuck up a Joey? Are are we even friends? We're not. Just like the Rocket League. the Rocket League, League video Polo. all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I've been had Polo, bro. Come on. All right. Now you got to guess the name, though. Wait, maybe go back to a picture yeah, of her. A picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have some reference here. Okay. That's yeah. her right there. That's the girl. Right. So you've yeah. got either... Beef Eater E Caddy, <laughs> Katsuno Ana, or Kirisu Makise. God, actually, those are good. Katsuno feels feels so right. It feels so right. Katsuno. That feels really right. But what's the last one? Kirisu Makise. Katsuno. 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 Yeah. Ana. Uh. -huh. That's wrong. It's Kurisu. Oh, edge, dude. A couple, couple. Uh, I think they're like cleaning the carpets downstairs or something. A couple uh, fun facts though for you. Beef Eater is actually a name of an anime character from the anime Gate. Beef Eater E Caddy. That's a name in an anime. And Ketsuno Ana is a character from Gintama. And if you put those two words together, the Japanese translation is a hole. Oh shit. And beef heater is also a popular variety of cheap gin. Yeah. Mm, beef, beef, beef eater gin, baby. It sounds disgusting, and well, it's equally <laughs> disgusting tasting. I'm a beef eater. Wow. What anime is this? 
This one? Yeah. This one's a different one. This is the one we're looking at. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Is it Magical Railgun? What is it? I don't know either. No? Oh, you just don't like her? <laughs> it's Joey. Oh, wait. I got to... Ryan, what the <laughs> fuck? Sorry. I don't, sorry. By you, saying you, you don't know, <laughs> that gives it away. <laughs> That I, defeats I, the game. I don't God. know what this is from. Do you guys know? Because I have no fucking clue. I cheated the system. I know. Let's he played me. Up. I didn't even think about it. Because I was going to say the name, too, and I was like, wait, if I answer this, it just gives it away. I mean, you know, honestly, all that does is make it so it's threes across the board. So yeah. I'm not yeah. even mad. I did it on purpose. I was going to say Joey anyways, but I figured I'd get the reassurance if I... Baiting. I have the figure. Right, my teammates. Well, you gotta go for the uh you gotta go for the name here now though. Yeah. Easy. Railgun Missy. The railgun. Alright, you ready? So sure. we've got oh, I feel so bad about this. We've got Ken Konaki, Jenny Sunday, and fifty cent. Ken Conaghy, Jenny Sunday, and 50 Cent. <laughs> 50 Cent? Do you really think that I think this is 50 Cent? Okay, uh, <laughs> can I get the first two again? Ken, Ken Konecki and Jenny Sunday or well, like 50 Jenny, Cent? G it's not 50 Cent. <laughs> Jenny Sunday feels like maybe it might fit, but I feel like Ken sounds like a, mm, sounds like a man's name. Depends on how it's spelled. Or like K-I-N? Well, how is it spelled? It's K-E-N. Mm, I don't know. It's Sunday. We're going Sunday here. Jenny Sunday? Yeah. Incorrect. Is it Ken? It's 50 Bro, Cent. It's 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it, and that's her, the well, name translated. Okay. So her name is Isiso Cento, which is literally 50 Cent. And the protagonist, his name translates to Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> You have to give me the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, 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 I was trying to make it easier no, her for name you. Literally, me is fifty cent though. I was trying to put it back into your language so you knew. I think this is a dumb game. <laughs> I didn't ask for my names to be dubbed. <laughs> I thought you liked dubs. You got to show the animes dubbed also. So like, fifty cent. <laughs> Let me see your fat gun. <laughs> We're all asking that. All right, well, all hey, threes across the board, baby. Next clip, last clip. Her name's I think too. Cent. So if you get none of this right, we tie. Candy I think there's shop. two more. I don't think so. This game's harder than I thought. Because I think be. the next one is mm. the last one. Okay. No kidding. Yeah, it's just a little longer because I had to get mm. the parts mm -hmm. in. Because I specifically chose this clip for a reason i had to you know pick a new one but are you ready yeah so i, I get, get two, two more? more it's no this is the last one okay don't go counting though no i honestly don't know we gotta let this play out oh, hold on. Wait, hold on. Bad a little bit sensei <laughs> Oh, yeah. Prepare yourself. Oh, no. Saigoni. Ichido dake. Kore de tembe. Wari ni suru kara. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I added a little edit in there. I thought it was funny. Yeah, that was that was perfect. <laughs> Just to end the game, one, yeah. you know. <laughs> but Holy I'll give you shit. I'll give you one clue, okay? Here, I'll put it's it on. It's Joey. 
I was no before you answer. Ryan and I have both seen Domestic Girlfriend, which is what the anime is. Yeah, it's Joey. Hold on, let me give you. A... Okay, is that your final answer? It's I know the last I'm one. Wrong, but it's Joey. I mean, if you know you're wrong, it's you can... Ryan. It's Ryan. Is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah it's Ryan. It's Ryan. You, it's Ryan. Sure, it's, it's Ryan. Me. It's Ryan. That's what you're sticking with. You're not gonna say me. It's Joey. On the, I'm gonna go from three, two, one. At the end uh, of the no, answer, no, your final answer. Final answer. Three, two, one. Joey. Yeah, it was me. So, <laughs> fuck you, Joey. You <laughs> made it. He made it hard. <laughs> you have the chance like, here, though, you know, to to you know, win the point. Not like that. And you have the win the to game. Win the point and win the game. This is the game winning point right here. So I'm going to read you the name. Okay, so I'm going to win the game. That so was just if over I get, our points, that had nothing yeah. to do with your if points. If I get yeah. her hey, name right, yeah. hey. I win this game. Yep. Yeah. You it win. all boils down to this. So it is between Rui Tachibana, <laughs> Mayuri Shina, or Hina Tachibana. Mary. Mary? Mm. Sheena? Mm. That's wrong, baby. Tina Tachibana. Is this a tie game? It's a tie game. Between all of us? It's a tie game. Sorry about We're that. We're all winners. Woo! Threw it at the blinds. Don't leave me hanging. Buddy. Buddy. Oh. We all we won. All, oh, we all won. We, we all, all won. We yeah. all did it. We all won. So. We tied around these parts. This was so much fun. My God. So He's got to rate him, though. He's got to rate the, the rate the waifus. I'll do it real quick. Yeah. Real quick and real nice. Let's hear yeah. this. I didn't know about How? this part, but let's hear it. Can I see him? Yeah. Can we get a lineup? So don't, don't close out just yet. We have the rating for first, Bryce. First waifu. This girl. What are I we like? doing? Out of 10? Okay. Yeah, we'll just do out of 10. Oh, okay. okay, so I'll just do them at the basis. Okay, I give her a... I, I like this one a lot. I give her a solid 8. 8. A solid 8 for that one? Yeah. Okay. Eight. All right. A solid 8 for uh, Futaba. Futaba, yeah. Yeah, I like her. Next one? Uh, I like her less. Gambling God? 7. 7. All right. 7 for seven. you, Mikko. But okay. she's still pretty fire. Yeah. I yeah. like her less. She gambles. Yeah. yeah. She That's has a what, problem. Oh, yeah. We like it, though. I have to give her a 6.5. 6.5? 6.5 Marine. Marine, Marine yeah, Kitagawa. But see, okay, here's the thing. Whoa. We're, we're going off the baddie scale, right? They're all yeah. baddies, right? I feel like if I would have put in the love hotel scene. I might change scene. my mind. But Possibly. Well, we gotta roll with it. We we gotta you know, roll with what going, we got here. We're yeah. going nice and quick through them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get some like six point five. I just I think in comparison to the other two, I'd rather yeah. have the other two. You know. All right. So as death. Uh, can I get a different <laughs> view? Uh, five. Five. It's on a scale of baddies, right? One Are you ugly? You don't think SF is a baddie? <laughs> I'm saying that the thing about it is that they're all baddies, so the skill has to be much more. No, I see what judgmental. you're saying. I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I feel, had polo. I feel like SF ben is the reason polo. why we have the scale. Ben had. Polo. It's not like one is ugly. One is like still hot. You know what I mean? Asuna Yuki. Okay, I think she is a. Do I like her more than Edith? I or Edith. as death. <laughs> Edith as death. Do I like her more than my grandma? <laughs> Hell no. Seven point five. Seven point five. Seven point five. five. All right. Fucking what was? Nine. What did I give the first person? You only have three there. Eight. Eight. Well, I my phone died. I was keeping track on my phone, but the yeah, first... yeah. I I like the first one the most so far. So Futaba. On. Let me just. Yeah, she's been my favorite so far. And then the second one was, what was the second one? Um, from Kakagiri. What's ah uh, Yumiko? Yumiko, yeah. And we gave her seven point five, or a seven. I think it's yeah, seven. it was a seven. It was yeah, a seven. she got one. Less. The gambling one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, 
So next, Amelia Tan. Okay. Wait, hold on. I know what's going to make you. There you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think she's a solid, she's a solid seven. Solid seven? All right. Yeah, yeah. Solid seven. Whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite so far has been food, food to buy. Yeah. That's my favorite, honestly. She yeah. was my phone wall screen for a long time. Your wallpaper. That was, yeah. my, that was my wall screen. It was my wall screen. I got, listen, I got you the You put part. the hat on it. I got the cap on, man, okay? Yeah. All right, where's... I feel like this is the Four. best image. Ooh. Four? Least favorite. Fucking four? <laughs> Least favorite, for sure. <laughs> oh, Goth shoddies need love, too. Definitely least favorite. Not yeah, that picture. Yeah. Not that picture. <laughs> you know, why don't we just move it down to a three? <laughs> Show that picture right here. Yeah. 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 It's right here. It's right on my face right now. I think she's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know how, dog. All right. This one's the, she's the mean one. She's not mean. She's drunk. I mean, yeah, she's. Can I get a different angle? <laughs> Can I get a different angle? <laughs> That's every response really... you have on Tinder. Can I get a different angle? <laughs> Six. Six? Yeah. Oh, man. Bryce is hard to please. You don't understand. All the numbers right now for me are between right. five and eight. Eight's like my sunshine. <laughs> eight is my sunshine. Futaba <laughs> is my sunshine. Yeah. Futaba. That's so Wonderful. Funny. Futaba. 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 This one, you can't see her very much, but I liked the interaction. Isuzo Cent or Isuzo. Isuzo Cento 50 Cent. This is 50 Cent this, right here. That's 50 Cent. I give her. I, 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 like the, I like the hairstyle a lot. I give her a 6.8. 6.8? Above. <laughs> Above gambler, bro. Where are you finding these numbers? You you I randomly typing to... into a calculator? No, oh, right. yeah, six point eight. Guys, it's not pi. Okay, I'm just comparing it to the rest of the ones that I have. I want it to be in order, and I am pretty happy about this one. About this one? Yeah. Now, what do you think? Shh, you like white brown hair? I do. I do. I like brown hair. Mm hmm. I do. <laughs> She's a nine. Nine? She Ooh, might no. be my favorite. She might no. be too much. Buddy, you might want to watch you, you might want to watch Domestic Girlfriend. You I might will. not want to watch Domestic Girlfriend. <laughs> you touched me so sensually. <laughs> Don't listen to him, okay? So we're gonna do a spitfire really quick. What do you rate? Bubble girl. Oh, bubble girl. Bubble girl. The bubble from from yeah like the the literal bubble that turned into a girl. Oh, I give her. She's pretty good. Six. I mean, you heard it, folks. Six. You gave her a six. There you have it, guys. We had it. the game. We had a tie. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Rice, for yeah, joining no us. Remember, Snowy with a zero at twitch.tv. It's snowy. It's snowy. It's snowy. I'll put it up I'm on, snowy on YouTube. Too. I'm buzzed, and it's snowy. So let's hear it one more time. Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> you going to say it? What? Say what? Your tag. Oh, Your tag. it's snowy. I thought you just wanted me to say it. With a zero. With a zero. I T S N zero W Y. W Y. Twitch. YouTube. Yeah. Follow. Check out. Peep. Word. Word. Hey, thank you again for tuning in. This is Unlucky Episode 13, but we had such a blast. Shout out to Owie Cat. Such a great drink. Yeah, this was honestly and bubble. really fucking killer. We pretty and much bubble. And, and bubble. bubble. And Don't bubble. Don't forget Bubble Girl. Big news bubble. Big news bubble. So thank you again. <laughs> Please bubble, share, baby. subscribe, comment, anything to get us out there. We love what we do, and we couldn't do it without you guys. Peace.